A lot of people know Google for its search tools and software like Android, but did you know that Google also develops its own dedicated hardware? Google makes its own chips. No, not the potato ones, but computer chips that we use in our machine learning supercomputers, pixel phones, network infrastructure, and even in YouTube as the video accelerators that uploaded this video were designed and created in-house at Google. All of these chips from servers to supercomputers rely on Google Cloud. Hi, I'm Lital Levy, a product marketing manager here at Google, and today we are discussing how Google's chip design and development group leverages Google Cloud. With me to tell the story, we have Matt Doe and Arslan Farouk. Matt, Arslan, please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Matt Doe. Uh, I'm an engineering manager for the team that builds the infrastructure that Google uses to design and build chips. Uh, this used to be tightly integrated with Google's internal software development environment, but we are now launching a system that is entirely run on Google Cloud. Hello, I'm uh, Arslan Farouk. I run Alphabet Cloud, which is a team within Google Cloud. Uh, our mission is to help teams with Alphabet onboard onto Google Cloud in a safe, frictionless, and cost-effective uh, manner. Uh, we regularly work with teams and businesses across all of Alphabet, including Google, acquisitions, bets, and other teams, uh, to help them avail themselves of the value and innovation Cloud has to offer. Over the past year, our team has been working closely with Google's chip design and development group to migrate them fully onto Google Cloud. Uh, this transformation has been incredible uh, and very satisfying to watch, uh, as the organization has more than doubled their performance and scale. Matt, what would you say is the most challenging aspect of building chips in-house? Google has the leading software design environment, but hardware design has some specific requirements. We need to be able to run third-party tools and manage multiple versions of IP. We have very large lo workloads uh, and workloads that need to scale massively, which can make the process quite challenging. What was the team using before Google Cloud? Before Google Cloud, we were using a traditional standard data center implementation. Uh, we began with a single rack of computers when the hardware team first started over a decade ago, which grew to our own data center inside of Google. As you can imagine, this brought many issues. It was incredibly expensive to maintain and required constant costly upgrades as our machine capacity needed to double every year. We weren't able to quickly ramp up a new project because each one required hiring new engineers and adding new hardware. We also had to hire people just to manage and repair legacy machines. So for example, our network file system had performance issues. And when it broke, it would take large workloads a week just to get it back up and running again. As a result, this shifted our priority away from growth and innovation uh, to, towards manual infrastructure management and oversight. Wow, that sounds incredibly frustrating. What happened next? In the interim, before totally moving to the cloud, we were using Google's internal software design environment and would overflow into cloud. Although this method is reliable in the short term, it still wasn't a viable solution for us in the long run and brought even more challenges. It took time to transfer the workload uh, over to cloud, and engineers wouldn't have immediate access to the results after execution. Additionally, engineers also needed to have two desktops constantly running, one for their design environment and the other for the results in cloud. Yikes, that does not sound fun. I'm assuming that's when you found the Alphabet Cloud team and reached out to Arslan? Uh, yes, exactly. This is ex the exact sort of scenario that our team helps with. Uh, so when we got a call from uh, Matt's team, we knew our team would be able to assist them in migrating fully onto Google Cloud. With Alphabet Cloud, we started with their intake form, uh, and that led to us doing a full spectrum architectural needs assessment. The main need being a reliable infrastructure with features that allowed us to scale massively. Yeah, so with the assessment, we were able to evaluate which Google Cloud services uh, would be needed and quickly had a path forward. Great. So now with the plan ready, how did the actual migration go? What services did the team need to make the project a reality? Yeah, so working alongside Matt and his team, we confirmed they needed to use Google Kubernetes Engine for the containers, Cloud Storage, File Store, Cloud Spanner, BigQuery, and PubSub. Yeah, through this collaboration between my team and Alphabet Cloud, we were able to move our workloads to GKE. Once we were in the cloud, we took the opportunity to identify a better machine platform and one to C2 uh, and quickly move the workloads within just a week. As a result, we could run jobs two times faster, faster than before. It really was remarkable to see this quick transition. In the old operating method, this would have been, what, a two-year program? Exactly. Yeah. Or rather, we wouldn't have been able to execute a move like this because it's effectively building a new data center. Uh, between the general cost of that, along with the complexity and productivity disruptions that it would create, we haven't even thought about attempting it. Yet with Google Cloud, we can simply flip a switch uh, through a couple of Terraform switches, and it works immediately. That's amazing. So what are the business benefits you've seen since moving to Google Cloud? 
it's been night and day. For instance, the lead times to provision new hardware has gone from six months to just a few days. Um, as an infrastructure team, we have a small team that can now manage a much bigger footprint. We're able to grow far more quickly, and if any bugs are found, they are debugged within hours, which was not previously possible. It really has been so gratifying watching the team reap the benefits of the cloud. Um, Matt, what are some examples of the chips your team has launched since you started using Google Cloud? Uh, some examples uh, include the last two generations of the TPUs, uh, the networking chip we just announced, Aquila, hmm. and the Argos VCU chip, which is used in YouTube for video compression which is 20 to 33 times more efficient than conventional CPUs. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, looking into the future, what's in store for the team? Well, we're continuing to work closely with Chip Development Infrastructure Team to drive improvements in Google Cloud scheduling, resource allocation, scaling. Um, we can say now that all Google Chip uh, design projects are using Google Cloud. Additionally, we plan to open source our processes so other chip manufacturers can benefit from all the services we use in Google Cloud, specifically our basal build rules and regression systems. Uh, any predictions for how this will impact the chip design space moving forward? With Google Cloud's AI and data capabilities, we'll be able to anticipate resource usage and use less resources as a result. Uh, compute design and development will continue to improve in its efficiency. Thanks, Matt and Arsalan, for joining us. If you're interested in learning more about Google Cloud, visit cloud.google.com. Make sure to click the like button if you enjoyed the video and the subscribe button to watch more content like this.